In this Roblox Studio scripting tutorial, we are adding a click multiplier so when the player clicks and rebirths, the number of clicks per click increases. Then, I am deleting the previous data store code and showing you a much simpler way of saving data in Roblox. So, we are going to be saving rebirths and clicks. And then I'll add some code so that it loads those values into the game when the player joins. Let's get started. Under Server Script Service, open up the script we called Stats. This on server event is fired when the player clicks the clicker. Here I am adding the multiplier for our taps. Follow this and add these few lines of code inside this on server event. Taps will now increase by two times the rebirths amount. Since we are multiplying rebirths, we must make sure rebirths are not zero. So to do that, I'm just adding a default value of one. Add this line and like this. Later in this video, we will load data to replace this value in the game. Let's run the game to test this. Open up the Rebirths GUI by clicking on the icon on the left. Then click the clicker. Notice my clicks are now worth 2 each click. And when I rebirth, it is now 2 rebirths times 2. So that's 4 each click. And so on. I am noticing that the rebirths amount in our text label here is not updating. Let's fix this now. First, let's have a look to see what we need to update. Over under Starter GUI, I want to make the rebirth frame visible, so I can see which part is the number value that we need to change. Okay, it looks like it's this text label we called rebirths. I am just checking the properties of this text label to make sure. And then in our script, we will update this text. Remember in the last video, we created a local script under Start Character Scripts. I will add another on changed event to this local script. So that, when the rebirths value in leader stats changes the rebirth GUI, is also updated with the current value. Open this local script here like this. Write out these few lines of code. Follow what I do. Okay, that's all for that script. Let's run it to check. So we are checking to see if the rebirth's text changes here, after we rebirth. And it does. Well, that's working fine. Just a quick one today. I decided to cut this video, and put the saving in a new video. So that will be coming up next. And if you had trouble with the previous data store script, don't worry I have a simplified version for you. This is the god of coding at Epic Blocks Dev signing off, see you in the next one.